Alright, it's officially spring when you break out the tractor and the chisel plow. Um, yeah, I'm running a 12 foot chisel plow with this 8120 going very deep. Um, I, this ground hasn't been plowed in a long time, uh, probably about 10 years. Uh, we've only either no tilled it or just run the, the disc harrow over. Uh, disc harrow only cuts in maybe, I don't know, 10 inches maybe, 8 inches, 8 to 10 inches. Whatever a 22 inch disc blade, 24 inch disc blade will cut in. Maybe are 24s, it might be 22s on that John Deere 635. Um, yeah, so I decided this year I'm going to run the chisel plow on this field. This is the field where the dirty bastards took a quad out across my soybeans. Um, I have intentions of planting beans back in here. At least I did until I saw all the deer that are coming out of here. Um, I've got this thing sunk to about a foot. So it's really, it's cutting really pretty deep. It's doing a good job though. Um, it's awful green because that's rye that I planted last fall. And just for a cover crop so that it would not erode. And it worked out quite well that the, uh, there's a very small amount of erosion on this place. Um, yeah, it really turned out pretty good. The only place that there was a lot of erosion uh, was at the ends of the field where the combine made ruts. So, you know, it's no big deal. It's just a matter of uh, chisel plowing them shut, working them up, or working them down. And uh, yeah, then, but what I'm going to do on Monday, today's Saturday, uh, what I'm going to do on Monday is go over and get a buggy load of potash, and I'm going to put about a 100 pound of potash to the acre on this ground, and then I'm going to work it into the ground with the disc, so that it's all there for the uh, soybeans. Now, I know the availability of potash is not immediate. But if you put enough on, there's enough in this ground. I'm, I'm by no means low on potash in, on this field uh, or any of the bean fields that I have. I put potash on pretty regularly when I'm going to grow soybeans. So anyway, the, uh, I'm just going to put that in there so when it does become available late in the season, um, say August, when it's really got a good pod set going on, that the uh, potassium is there. And it's got good root health and good nodules on the on the plants, and uh, you know, so I get the maximum yield out of the whole thing. Um, my biggest problem with this field is not fertility. But uh, of course, I'm getting a little power hop going on here. But you see that dirty critter up there? Oh man. Anyways. <laughs> There are four deer at this end of the field. There are four deer at that end of the field. And I'm sure there's 40 deer in that clump of weeds and stuff in there. So I think what I'm gonna do is get the skid steer out and just make trails through there so that they get nice and comfortable working on a trail. And then I'll sight the high-powered rifle in from way over there and just pick them off as they come out in the summertime. It's the only thing I can do. Um, it's illegal, but you know what? Oh well. So anyways, yeah, so it's plowing day. This field is 43 acres. I think I've mentioned that before. And uh, that's all done out there. And I only have a little bit to go. So there's the dirty son of a gun. Look at that. There it goes. So anyways, thanks for watching. Cutting in about a foot deep. Uh, it's really ripping it up pretty good, so. Yeah, he's got a lot to do today. I'll probably get 100 acres chisel plowed pretty easy with that. He's uh, rolling in about 11th gear. Um, it's got the auto shift mode on, so when it hits a wet spot or a hard spot, it, it uh, downshifts automatically, so. Yeah, that's what it is. And this is rye cover crop. So it keeps it uh, from eroding, and uh, we didn't put it on real heavy. We just put it on enough that it would uh, hold the soil, and it did. It did the job well. So yeah, I just love to watch these machines work. I mean, that's only a 12-foot chisel plow, 
um, but we are pulling extra deep. So, you know, normally a chisel plow, what, eight inches or so? Most people do, six to eight inches, not really that deep. Um, eight, ten, ten maximum. We're going, we're going a foot, 14 inches. I pulled the tires off of it so we could go deeper. Um, he could go deeper yet, but it starts falling the ground and it's hard on the hitch because that thing was only really designed for a 100 horse, 120 horsepower tractor. Start. We got a full set of weights on the front there, 16 of them. Um, yeah, as you can see, I bet he's gone more than a foot. I bet he's gone about 14 inches, maybe 16 inches. He's really going deep. And he's moving right along, so. I just love this job. That's my sister's place there, right? We're farming right across from her place there. Actually, she's leaving in the green van. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, yeah. So Tim will be out here for about 20 more minutes, and then I gotta move him. So thanks for watching.